and welcome to Stretch Coding. Today we are going to discuss and implement ChatGPT's image, image, image generation endpoint. We are going to use ChatGPT today to generate images for our profiles. Okay, so we have a, a here we have a typical MVC application here. So let's run that and then see how it works. This is a typical um, MVC application and we are going to use it chat GPT to generate images for our profile okay so when we click here profiles and we click create new what we are going to do is we are going to um, use chat GPT to generate images for us so I type the name Tom Tom Smith and then what I will type here is basically asking the user for any hobby that they like so so I will say okay this is an example I like football so I type here I like football I will click on create and what we do is we will send this I like football text to chat GPT and then it will generate us an image and then we will store that image in our database like this okay and this is the source of the image and then we just have it here so we can go back to the list and then we can edit it or add new so okay we like I like football or this time let's say I like basketball basketball uh, click save and this I like basketball text will be sent to chat GPT to generate an image for us and we'll use that image as a profile picture like we have here okay likewise we can also add more to it let's say some Sam Smith and what are some Smith like um, uh, reading books I like spending time reading books okay so we send that text to chat GPT and it, it will generate as an image of reading a book in this case this one and then we store that in our proof in our database as a profile picture okay so let's see how it works uh, going to the code let's click new and what we're going to do is we're going to put a breakpoint in the controller in the profile controller so here and we'll put a breakpoint here and we will run it again um, Francis this time you say Francis Francis Smith again anything and let's just say I like watching soccer okay so now we click on create so what we have here is the date details from the website okay so I like watching soccer okay and the name but we don't have a profile picture so what we are going to do is we're going to use chat GPT to generate the profile picture so what we do is we have a, a class here called chat GPT service okay so we are going to ask chat GPT to generate us only one image and the prompt in this case is the text from the hobby and we're going to say okay generate us two by two five six by two five six image okay so let's go into that service so this is the service and all that the service is doing is it's going to use HTTP client and this is the endpoint that is going to hit chat GPT endpoint image generation endpoint and it will use this API key as an authorization bearer token and by the way you can always get your authorization can always get your API t um, key on this um, website here so with this I'm going to delete this after the video okay guys so don't use this one and once we and then we will serialize this um, request image request as, as a string so we're going to serialize this um, let's have a quick look at how the serialization will look like uh, the prompt will remain as a property of prompt and the number of images the property name will be n and the size will remain as size okay so let's step through again once we serialize it as a string we will then create a string content make, making sure that that the type is application json okay and then we will get a response back and if the response is successful 
let's let's run it up to here okay so now we are sending it to chat gpt okay uh this is it let's have a look at the serialized request make sure it's like this okay we're only requesting for one image and then the response it gets us returns the response and this is the response okay if we inspect the response as a json uh, visualize visualizer we will notice that the data is in this field okay and then we have our url here okay so what we do is we create a model uh, to deserialize it into this is the model let's have a look at our model that we created you just have a um, data property and this is the data property for each data it will have a url okay and because we said we only one we want only one image it will only have one um uh, date image data okay uh okay so let's go through and we then serialize it as a object okay and then because we only have one data what we do is we get the first one and grab the url from that okay this is the url and then we store our url as a profile picture okay on the model and then we store that in our database or whatever you store your information your profiles you store that there and that's it you return to your um your page and there you go so something is, and if you click on edit and you change um your hobby let's say i like watching this time i like watching tennis and then you click on save let's put a breakpoint let's put a breakpoint here okay so now what we have here is another model that says i like watching tennis similar to the ad we are going to send that to chat gpt using the same service here okay let's go into that using the same service and eventually it will generate us um an image and then we will use that as a profile picture okay so here it's going to give us a profile picture and let's have a look it gives us the the endpoint of the image and then we store that as a profile picture url and then we update this the profile of the user and click on continue and this is it this is the image for i like watching tennis so this is a great way of generating profile picture back in the days we used to use um, some icons as a profile picture or we allow users to upload a picture of themselves onto uh, the website in this case we don't even need to do that we can just use a text send that text to chat gpt and chat gpt will uh, uh, generate an image for us we can store that image or we can store the url of that image i think it's best to store the image somewhere in a folder or some repository and then you have a profile picture of the user based on their hobby i think it's a very fantastic um, opportunity for us so yeah don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you have any any information just leave it in the comment section and i will reply to you that question okay uh, thank you very much and